In this video tutorial, we'll show you how to create a circular marquee to track a moving subject in a video. Let's see what we're trying to achieve. Here, we have a circular marquee on a skier. Another variation is to have a square marquee similar to a camera's viewfinder. In this third variation, we have a marquee in the shape of crosshairs of a telescopic rifle. So to demonstrate this technique, we've broken the tutorial into three simple parts. In part one, we'll create a circular marquee like this one on a black background. In part two, we'll make the marquee's black background transparent using chroma keying. And in part three, we'll show you how to sync the marquee with the movement of the skier. So let's start with part one. In this part, we'll be creating the circular marquee. So we'll start by creating a new project. You can create the marquee using any graphics package, such as ULEADS Photo Impact. But since this training package is about using Video Studio 10 creatively, we'll use a small trick to create the ring using VS10. The trick involves creating the ring using a letter of the alphabet. Let me show you what I mean. Let's begin by dragging the skier clip onto the video track. Click the title step and enter the letters from A to Z. Currently, the letters are in the Arial font. Now here's the trick. As soon as you change the font from Arial to Wingdings, notice that all the letters change to shapes and symbols. The letter L converts to a perfect white circle. We're only interested in this circle, so let's copy and paste the circle over here. and we'll delete the other letters. Now position the circle over the skier and make it bigger so that the circle covers the skier. Let's change the color of the circle to red. So far, what we have is a red circle, but what we really need is a red ring. So let's make a copy of the circle. Highlight, then Control c to copy, and Control v to paste. Now let's make this circle smaller and change its color to black. Next, we'll place it inside the red circle. We don't need the movie clip anymore, so let's remove it. What we've just done is create a ring out of a title track. VS10 does not allow you to apply any video filters or effects to a title track. So to get around that, we'll first convert the title to a video clip and then save a frame of the video clip to an image. So we'll go to the Share step and click Create Video File. Then select the DV option. We'll call our file The Ring and Save. Notice that the rendered video clip is automatically placed in the library. Let's copy this video clip to our library. We'll now save a frame of the video clip as an image. So let's clear the timeline and go back to our library. Drag the video clip of the red ring to the video track. And then from the Video tab, click the Save as Still Image option. VS10 saves the current video frame as a bitmapped image and places it in the image library over here. Now that we have our image, we don't need the video clip anymore, so let's clear the timeline. So we now have an image of a red circular marquee with a black background. And this concludes part one. Let's move on to part two, where we'll remove the background. In this part, we'll apply a chroma key to the marquee. Doing this will enable the water skier video clip to show through the marquee. 
First, drag the marquee to overlay track 1. Now from our video library, let's drag the skier clip to the video track. Select the overlay track and right click on the marquee in the preview window and select original size. Now from the attributes tab, click mask and chroma key. Check apply overlay options. The black area disappears letting the video show through because we've keyed on the black color indicated here. Also notice that the marquee is positioned perfectly over the skier. Now stretch the overlay track to fit the duration of the video clip. We've just completed part 2. Let's move on to part 3 where we'll show you how to sync the marquee with the movement of the skier. In this final part we'll animate the marquee to follow the skier as he moves across the water at high speed. We'll make use of the pan and zoom option and some carefully placed keyframes to achieve this. Click project and queue to the beginning of the timeline. Now scrub the timeline while observing the marquee's position. At position 1.13 seconds, you'll notice that the marquee needs to be moved slightly down to fit the skier. So we need to fix the marquee at time 1.13 seconds. Select the clip on the overlay track. Then from the edit tab, check apply, pan and zoom. Then click customize. Now move the jog slider to the 1.13 seconds. Now click the plus button. This adds a keyframe here. And this red cross corresponds to the keyframe that we just added. Now watch the preview window. Moving the cross up moves the marquee down. And moving the cross down moves the marquee up. So this is the way you manipulate the marquee's position. This is all guesswork since you cannot see the underlying video clip, but with a little practice you'll get the hang of it. Now we'll move the marquee down at this keyframe. Since the skier becomes progressively bigger, we'll leave the zoom at 120%. Click OK. Now at 113 seconds, the ring fits the skier nicely. Let's continue scrubbing the timeline to 2.28 seconds. Here, the marquee is once again out of position, we need to move it up and to the right. So go to the Pan and Zooms Customize option again. Move the jog slider to 2.28 seconds and add another keyframe. We'll move the marquee up and right at this keyframe. Click OK. Now once again we've made the ring fit the skier. So you get the idea. The trick is to create as many keyframes as needed to sync the marquee with the skier. So let's open the Spot the Guy project that I created previously. In this project, I've already synced the marquee to the skier. Now let's see what I've done in the Pan and Zoom timeline. So you can see here, I've added many keyframes to fine-tune my marquee with the skier's movements. As you move from one keyframe to the next, the marquee is at different positions. This technique takes a little practice, but the end result is definitely worth the effort. Click Cancel and we'll preview the project. You're not limited to circular marquees. You can create any shape you like, such as a camera or a rifle's viewfinder, just like you see in the movies. Well, this concludes our Tracking a Moving Subject tutorial. 
So get creative and try it out on your next project.